Hello Scorpio, welcome back to TWT. My name is Lynn and today I'm going to do your May 2022 reading. See what happened in the past, see where your current energy is and what's going to be coming up in the future. All right, so um, I'm also going to get more information from the Ramsey's deck, Ramsey's deck. And then I'm going to see what messages um, Archangel Michael has in store for you. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna start off with uh, three shuffles for the Empress. One. Two. And three so we're gonna go ahead and go back into the past and see what happened and also what which crystal is gonna come out for you all right that would be Scorpio Sun moon or rising coral yeah this came out before um, yeah this is very Scorpio it looks like blood it's red it's coral and it's for transformation, peace, and protection. Yeah, that's like very Scorpionic. All right, and then um, let me go ahead and look at your uh, current energy. All right, Dan Barai, very nice. I have that, and yeah, it is a very powerful stone. Um, let me go ahead and show you what it should look like. And this says spirituality, channeling, angelic. Yeah, that is also very scorpionic. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and go into your future energy. Angel Aura Quartz. I don't have that, but yeah, I heard about it. And it's very strong. All right, so here's the card that came out. <clears throat> Angel Aura Quartz. And it's for communication, meditation, and healing. Yeah, that sounds very Scorpionic. Okay, I only have like one of these crystals. But they're the ones that came out for you. So let me go ahead and see what the messages are. I have all three, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them away. And then um, we'll see what the Ramsey's deck has to say. Um, let's see. All right, Scorpio, you are number 13. Um, you are the death card. So I'm not going to do 13 shuffles, but I am going to do five. So let's do five. Okay, one. Two. Three. Okay, these are like very slippery. Hang on. I did three shuffles, let me do two more. Here we go. And then one more. I don't know, maybe it's because they're antique. I, I don't know. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna go back into the past um, with Coral, what about it? Ten of Diamonds. This is the card that came out. All right, and that would be like the Ten of Pentacles in Tarot, which would be like a legacy. All right. And then, all right, for your middle energy, or current energy, Dan Bright came out. So what about it?
queen of spades yeah um in tarot that would be like the queen of swords so a lot of clarity a female and that's the one that came out for you all right and then Uh, the future energy angel or of course came out. So what about it? I just want to hit aqua. If I did, I made a mistake. It's supposed to be angel or of course. All right. So we have the eight of hearts, and that would be like the eight of cups in tarot basically walking away. All right, so they're kind of different. They're not the exact same thing, um, but we'll see which mes messages come through, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go back into the past energy. Uh, Coral came out for transformation, peace, and protection. And then the 10 of diamonds came out a marriage for money, a country husband or wife. <sighs> the marriage for money, like it's not necessarily a bad thing because you know what? You could need to get married for money or maybe that's what you need, a country husband or wife. So <sighs> I'm not really like, judging because you could need both situations um oh i'm getting peace i'm not getting transformation i'm getting peace so maybe that's what it is maybe some of you will need to marry for money even if you don't agree with it but Maybe that's something that you're going to have to do and that will help your situation. Um, some of you may find peace in the country. So you may need to marry somebody from the country. Okay. Um, a husband or a wife. So like I said, um, not all of you are going to be in a situation, but um, some of you will need to marry for money. And some of you will need to live in the country, okay? So that is what I'm getting for the past energy, all right? And then let's see, current energy, Dan Barat came out, and then the Queen of Spades came out. So again, in tarot, that's the Queen of Swords. You get clarity. Um, this sounds like a warning. This one says, a dark woman spoilt by wealth so take it for what it is um she could be a dark person she could have dark hair or maybe dark features but it's gonna be a woman and she's gonna be spoiled by wealth so basically yeah because she's rich so somebody that is i'm seeing somebody that has dark hair or dark features, a female, and you may or may not see how spoiled she is. You may or may not see that she's rich. So again, you may or may not pick those things up, but you have been warned. Um, I'm seeing channeling, like, I don't know why, so if you don't have Denverite, that's the crystal you're going to need to channel. And that crystal is going to help you with answers. So yeah, you may not see right away that this woman is spoiled and this woman is rich, but you have been warned that she's going to show her true colors eventually, okay? So that's what I'm getting for the current energy now let's go ahead and look at the future energy um angel aura quartz came out and that's for communication meditation and healing and then number eight came out uh eight hearts friendship changing into love i could have sworn that came out before 
So, is it communication? Is it meditation? Is healing? I'm not really getting healing. I'm not really getting communication. But I am kind of getting meditation. So, something about meditation and friendship changing into love. So, this is what I'm getting, okay? Um, one or both of you may have a friend. And one or both of you may feel a little more. But you haven't, like... You haven't let them know yet, so they don't know. You could both feel that way, but you have not shared it yet. So it's like, you may be getting signs, you may be getting symptoms, but that person has not talked to you yet and has not confirmed that they feel more for you, okay? But what I'm getting is that when you or the other person meditates or during meditation, they get a little bit of clarity. And yeah, that's what they see. Friendship is changing into love. So basically, yeah, they see the truth. That's what it is. It's like, yeah, like those signs and symptoms are real. They're really happening. It's just that neither one of you have fessed up and talked about it. So you haven't received any confirmation yet. You've just been kind of like guessing. But nobody has like said yes or no. Okay. And that may be why you're like wondering, you know, am I feeling this or is it just me or is it mutual? I don't know. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. And if you don't have angel or quartz, that could be the crystal that will help you when you do meditate. And then you're going to see the truth that yes, um, your friendship could be changing into something more. Okay. So, um, Scorpio, I hope I helped in some way. Um, and then let's see. Archangel Michael has some messages for you. So, uh, let's do four shuffle, shuffles for the emperor, and then we'll see what he has to say. One, two, three, and four. All right. So let's go back into um, the messages. Single Scorpios, what is your message from Archangel Michael? Okay, here's one. And then this message is for Scorpios who are not single or they're currently seeing someone. What is your message? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. All right, let's go back into these single Scorpios. What's his message for you? Wow, I've seen this before. I believe that was for Taurus. <laughs> or maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, here we go. Be gentle with yourself. Yeah, that came out for Taurus. But that message is for single scorpios so yeah be gentle with yourself that's his message for you okay and then uh for those of you who are not single or are currently seeing someone here's the message for you lean on god and the angels for support wow so that means some of you may not be feeling support some of you may be feeling like there's nobody there that you can turn to. Wow, that has to be tough. If you are feeling that way, you're with somebody that like you you feel like you're not supposed to be with, or you really can't talk to anybody about this, but you need support. 
I mean, you know what? Then talk to yourself. Seriously. Like, it may seem like you're talking to yourself, but you're really not. You're talking to your guides. You're talking to yourself. You're talking to God. You're talking to angels. Just because you don't see them does not mean they aren't there. They're there. They're listening. They're watching. And they're with you every step of the way. So if you don't want to feel crazy, just write it down. And then I bet you, you will feel better after you write things down, okay? So yeah, lean on God and the angels for support, especially if you're not getting any, all right? So um, Scorpio, I hope I helped you in some way. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon.